In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys at home just how I go about doing a chemical decontamination and a physical decontamination prior to machine polishing. And we're gonna have a simple step-by-step -step guide that you guys can follow along. Plus, I'm gonna be sharing all my favorite tips with you guys to help you get a perfect finish on your car. Let's go. This video is sponsored by Fratelli Cars, who are one of Surrey's leading used performance car specialists, who sell a wide range of cars, including BMWs, Porsches, and Aston Martins. And if you want to see the entire list of vehicles available, then don't forget to hit the link in the description below. We begin with the Porsche 911, and it had a cleanup prior to arriving at Fratelli Cars. And although it did have a full valet, the paint didn't look quite right. There was tons of iron particles in it. And this is something you will always see, especially on white cars, where you get these tiny microscopic black dots. And being a very expensive car, I wanted to get this one looking its best. So before we could do any machine polishing, I had to give it the ultimate wash. So we're jumping ahead of the wheels because they were so good, they only needed a little clean up with some pH neutral shampoo and my trusty wheel willies. Plus, I've already made a massive video on how to deep clean your wheels, and I'll pop a link to that one in the description below as well. Step one was to give the car a decent snow foam first because I wanted to make sure that I could remove any bits of ingrained dirt in the nooks and crannies. And because this car was relatively clean anyways, I didn't need to apply any citrus pre-wash on this occasion. And I am using a little extra snow foam here because some of these clips will be featured in a later video down the line as I want to show some of the benefits and some of the negative side effects of using too much foam. So there is method behind the madness. Because the weather was as perfect as it gets, I could leave this on for around five minutes. And that's another thing you need to perform a decent wash. You need to have the right weather. And when I say the right weather, I'm talking a dark, gloomy, cloudy day. Doing decon washes in the direct sunlight can be a royal pain. So make sure you do it in the morning or in the evening, but make sure most importantly, it's done in the shade. Once the foam has all been removed, it's time to carry out the two bucket method. Now I'm gonna be using Yum Wash, which is a highly lubricating shampoo. And I did manage to get around the entire car without it drying. So once that was all taken care of, I just needed to rinse the suds off. So all the products featured in today's video are from yumcars.co.uk because we are at Fratelli Cars here, so we're only gonna be using the best of the best to get this car gleaming today. And if you want 10% discount on pretty much everything on the Yum Cars website, then don't forget to enter the code EPIC at the checkout. With the first wash done, it's time to start off by performing a chemical decontamination. So for this, I'm gonna be using a very safe wheel cleaner and fallout remover. Yep, this isn't a joke, this really is a wheel cleaner that is pH neutral. And the reason that I'm using this over a standalone fallout remover is simple because this one is a thick gel that clings on and pulls out any iron particles. So being a gel based formula, it is going to hold on to the car just that little bit longer, therefore making the product more effective. So I will say this now because I'm pretty sure some people in the comments section will say this, how come there isn't much purple running down the car? Well, I want to be as clear as possible when I say this, I could have just sprayed this onto the dirty car and yes, it would have looked mega purple, but that's not how I perform a chemical decontamination. I wanna remove as much dirt as possible before spraying the fallout removers onto the paint because I like to see what I'm working with and I don't wanna waste any product either. So think about this, if you have a dirty car and you just spray over all the dirt with a fallout remover, you're gonna find that some of that muck and road film will actually be covering up the iron particles. So by doing it this way, not only is it safer, 
it's more effective. So when it comes to decontaminating your car, you have two options. Option one being just a chemical decontamination. Now this is gonna be the safest way to get rid of imperfections, but let's be very clear on one thing right now. You will not be able to remove 100% of all those imperfections in the paint. It's just not gonna happen. However, if you wanna take things a step further, then go for option number two, which is a chemical decon wash followed by a clay bar or a clay block, because that's the only way that you're gonna be able to remove 100% of the defects. Now, there is another word of warning. If you don't have a machine polisher, you might be a little hesitant to try this method because you will cause marring, which is micro scratches on the paintwork. So ideally, you need to have a machine polisher afterwards or at least a compound by hand. But compounding by hand does take a heck of a long time. Believe me, I've tried it myself. So if you don't have access to a polisher and you just wanna remove some of the defects before you give it a hand wax, for example, then going for chemicals alone is gonna be the best option. I love this clip because you get to see all the particles drop off with a rinse afterwards. And at this point, the majority of fallout have been removed. Once you've finished rinsing, you then have to grab yourself a bucket of water with some shampoo in. And yes, you can revert to the one bucket wash as there is nothing to contaminate it again. But here's where I do things slightly different because I'm not using a clay bar today, I'm gonna to be using a clay block. I don't actually need to use any lube because what I'm gonna be using instead is the highly lubricating shampoo. Now, one word of caution, it does not have the same effect with a clay bar, depending on what type of shampoo you're using. For example, some shampoos can be quite harsh and what they will do is gradually deteriorate the performance of the clay bar almost to the point where the clay bar will feel quite gooey and it will start to break down. And I wanted to get this car done quicker, so that's why I've opted for the clay block. When using a clay block, you don't need to apply much pressure at all because the paint should be almost fully decontaminated in the first place. And you need to work it in crisscross patterns, working one panel at a time. And once you finish a section you're working on, it should feel nice and smooth like glass to touch. But I really do need to reiterate here that you should only be doing this outside if you have the right weather conditions. And when I say the right conditions, I'm talking no wind, no direct sunlight, no heat, no rain, just cloudy, cool weather. It's as simple as that. If you do it on a windy day, you're going to get bits of grit that are going to blow up onto the paint and you're going to increase the risk of getting those scratches on your car. Once the car is rinsed after a clay block, it's then time to give it a dry with a microfiber towel. And it's amazing how much nicer it feels to dry off a car that feels smooth compared to one that feels rough. This Porsche was starting to look stunning already, so I couldn't resist but give the glass a good clean and apply my favorite tire moisturizer just to get some nice shots for Instagram. And doing this business, you will find it's unbelievably stressful being out in the elements. But having said that, this was one of those nice moments where it didn't really feel like work because all the planets had aligned just to give me one day of perfect weather without any drama. And it's amazing how much better you can make a car look when you're in the right mindset. And if you want to see for yourself what really goes on behind the scenes in the day of the life of a car cleaner, then go watch this episode right now.